guys welcome back to enigma review so today i'm going to be doing well it was supposed to be a collective um piece guys and unfortunately i don't know what's happened with the post i know the post is really really slow at the minute because of covid and so forth but i won market um fan of the month at the alternative market in october and i was like wow okay um i was just quite happy to just keep sharing posts because you know the more people that notice the more people will come to the market obviously that's great because these people will get to sell their items so the more the, the more the better so i share mine and other people will share it as well and it just it gets the word out basically that's the whole point of it so what is the alternative market guys the alternative market is a place where you can go and shop on small independent businesses they do have a huge huge and i'm going to go through that first before i go through this they have a huge list of um small businesses that come together and showcase the items that could be anything from jewelry to homeware to cuddly toys to food to drink to um decorations oh the list is so long guys footwear clothing everything bags <laughs> so i noticed the alternative market some time back now maybe about a year ago and since then i've enjoyed really like boosting up the the post and buying from the small businesses that they have on there i have got a huge list of businesses that i've not yet got to i'm praying i'm i'm praying that i'm well enough to carry on with my channel next year um if some of you may know i have a debilitating chronic disability that is is getting worse superly fast it's like it's rapidly going downhill really quick quicker than i expected and i'm struggling a little bit guys i will be honest with you and i would like to continue my channel because I've, I've worked really hard on it but for now it's still ongoing and i will still promote as much as i can for the alternative market this month guys i'm going to get this on hopefully before the days i mean otherwise it's a waste of bloody time but it's on the 27th and 28th of november guys 7 p.m till half 11 at night now there is 25 small businesses guys they will divide that somewhere along the line i mean it's it's, it's an odd number but you know they will split it somewhere so you'll get so many of the um people on one day and then the other half on the other day so if you're for example change and charms if you're waiting to buy just from change and charms and they're not on on the friday then just join them on the saturday at 7 p.m and then just wait for the slot to come on they have a 15 minute slot guys in that 15 minutes they have to showcase as much as they possibly can that they've made especially for the market or they've kept especially for the market so they'll only have certain numbers of things guys they may tell you how many they've got and you've got to be quick so especially when it comes to bubbles you've got to be quick because they sell out super super fast like super fast some don't some do i know it's coming up to christmas guys and a lot of people are pushed for cash and one of them people so guys this is the list that's going to be on the market this month so I have got them um, in the order that they've put them on. So they've got Little Red Stuff, Blue Moth Shop, UK Rebel Soul, Tick, I have tried Rebel Soul, absolutely love. That's like acrylic signs and so forth. Um, DMC Designs, love Danita. I've got some stuff from DMC Designs before. She's a lovely, lovely lady. They're all amazing people, guys. Let me just tell you, they're so easy to talk to. Obviously, you know, that's their job but they are 100 percent genuine honest nice people uh rockery mead which is like mead and like something my husband will probably appreciate he may look out for that this this month rathmail which is your chain and scale mail i've i have done rathmail before i will dive back into rathmail i really would like rathmail to do me a, a nice big piece Rawr. but it's something i'll probably look into next year rock your soul i really do want to try rock your soul they're like footwear and bags and stuff guys but absolutely amazing talented talented people eerie touch new to um 
the market this month which is bat bones with her business with her dad and um it's eerie touch curiosities guys and it's like coffin units which i absolutely love bat units all them curiosity little curiosity things that page from backbones makes absolutely amazing but their first time on the market guys go go and show them some support that would be really really amazing plundering productions i have done plundering productions before they do t-shirts bags clothing children's clothing men's women's absolutely amazing and they do have the easy clear pay or is it paypal pay um we cheat crafts oh i will be jumping into that at some point she does all little wee little crafty things like little houses with tea little teacups oh i've got to have one i've got to have one um dark side cosmetics i've never heard of them before but i have ticked them i will try them at some point jawline jewelry amazing jewelry go and check them out bubba's which she appears a lot on the market absolutely amazing she sells out probably the fastest out of everybody so go and check that out as well forever in black there's a few things i want to try from forever in black jezebel curiosities again another company i'd like to try grimly grimly fiendish crafts i do have an item from them that i'm going to do today um again absolutely amazing uh which is real watches real i've got a, an item from from lovely helen as well these are fairly new to the market well helen is i think this is her second time that's going to be at the market she's a lovely lovely lady i'll be doing a little bit about her in a minute and um, the master plan crafts i've never i've never heard of that one before but i have ticked it so we'll check it out orange fruit cake hey guys it might be something completely different but I've, I've never looked into orange fruit cake but they must be new and they're going to be appearing on the market now i can't say this word casas casasa g jewelry oh her jewelry is amazing she does all like the um the spine and stuff and as you know my spine's knackered it's crumbling away um and i did want to grab one of her necklaces um i've got laura g cock artist i think that's a new lady as well that's going to be there reginald spleen i think i've heard of reginald spleen but they will be there as well changing charms my lovely amy will be there i'm so happy to see her up on there amazing i love her to bits and she knows it zombunny designs i have featured zombunny recently in a video you've probably not seen it yet um lovely lovely lady she's local to me and then we've got a new one which is at metallics um zombunny is also new to the market so that is the lineup for the 27th and 28th of november guys we'll go and check that out right so i won um fan of the month and i got 20 pound to spend guys on any seller that i wanted it was a very very hard decision guys very hard let me tell you extremely hard um unfortunately the merchandise that alternate alternative market sent to me twice god bless them never reached my house i don't know what's happened there guys um i've had a few things going missing unfortunately when it comes to my mail i feel bad that alternative market have sent me merchandise twice that i've not had if i had it guys i would show you guys what was in that but if it does turn up guys a little bit later because possibility it may do i may just put something on facebook or instagram just to show you guys that it has arrived later better late than never as they say but these two arrived within the week that i um put my order in so i'm super glad that that happened so i don't know what happened with the alternative market maybe somebody thought i'll, I'll, I'll have that i don't know it, it just mm, mm, yeah really does baffle me right so grimly fiendish crafts guys it says here that she's from bristol and i think she may have created her facebook page on the 19th of september um so i think she may have gone on to etsy a little bit later because it says 2019 etsy so maybe she started her business up on facebook and then went on to etsy but what she does is amazing guys she's got a lot of sales five star and it's um alternative oh she's so she's on alternative markets handcrafted words made with a dash of something cute a hint of something spooky and a bucket full of goth juice you will see why in a minute so she does embroidered hoop felt bats guys but she also does embroidered like phrases on there or pictures or anything spooky and gothic i know that um simply gothic kirsty simply spooky i know she's absolutely obsessed with them i've always watched her videos when she's she's done it and i've always said i need to try that company and 
yeah i will try them again guys without a doubt i will be dipping into them because what they do is amazing and i really do want more now guys i've not opened any of these they've been here for probably about three and a half weeks nearly four weeks it'll be nearly four weeks as the market's on this weekend so i've sat on these for a long time guys so let's get it cracked open and i'll tell you a little bit more oh. so the first thing i'm coming to is her um her little slip and it says etsy grimly grimly fiendish crafts facebook grimly fiendish crafts and then she's on instagram as grimly fiendish crafts thank you for your order of one large black bat and i picked the c design i hope your goodies arrive safely i'd love to see your product photos she'll probably think i forgot about them so please do send them to the social media pages above if you have any feedback comments or queries feel free to get in touch thank you again grimly please help look after the planet and recycle and reuse the packaging so that is the information from grimly absolutely love this thank you so much i can't wait to take some pictures <laughs> i am really really sorry guys it's taken me this long but i have been waiting for the alternative market uh, merch to come but unfortunately it's not meant to be so guys upon opening it it's got this black tissue paper and lots of little little pumpkins and little bats and a nice black and white stripy package we're getting quite familiar with these packages little skulls and little bats i'm going to save all that because i absolutely love it and that tissue paper is pretty much like new so i'll just fold that and it can come in handy now it's got a sticker i don't know if this is one of and i don't know if it's a, a, a violet moth sticker but let's crack it open guys Ooh, let's have a look at this little guy <gasps> oh you are so cute oh so i picked the one with blue eyes because i've got blue eyes and i'm just i just thought it was the cutest of the lot so wow i love how she's done this guys so literally it's a felt material and then she stitched it onto the ring and then obviously she's put the eyes in and then as you can see at the back you can see where she stitched them so forth and then little like little backs of earrings actually and then the hoop is on a solid very solid plastic somewhat wood i think this might be wood actually and then you've got this little hook that just hooks onto your wall oh guys i would really like a collection of these i, I would like to get like the pumpkin that they had and the ghost like what kirsty's got um i would probably put these in here guys because they really do go with the the decor in here so i might just get some more of these and then stick them around she is at the market again this month so maybe i can just have a look and maybe grab another one so that is that guys i don't have the price to hand i did have um 20 pound to spend i split it between the two so this might have been 14 pound i think it was guys that was including the postage so that was really really nice now she does say here embroidered hoop felt bats felt that she just felt decorations for five pound guys for your tree and um, they're like quite packed quite bulgy look really really cute very similar to um voodoo dudes what um what she does with hers with nicole is it nicola uh, she does ghosts, zombies, skulls and bats, guys. Lots of designs. Um, £14 is for the large ring and then they go down in price. Different prices. I think there's, what, £9, I think, is the next one down. She's only doing deliveries on a Monday at the minute, guys, with the way things are going on, which I completely understand. And it's free UK delivery, guys, so I didn't pay delivery for this. Just £14 for this beautiful dude and I love him. So that is Grimly Fiendish Crafts, guys. Go and check them out. Right let's move on to my next item guys because you know i've been dying to get these open i'm so glad i did thank you guys i absolutely love them so spooky post on the back and then she's put some it says thank you for supporting my small business you are welcome so helen i've got a lot to say about helen helen had a lot to say bless her but i'm so glad that she was very informative and give me lots of information and you know why not why not you're proud of your business why not shout out from the rooftop so before i open this up i'm going to talk about this business and it's the watcher's realm game it's a pagan gothic steampunk jewelry and gifts so let's talk a little bit about helen so helen from the watcher's realm and um, she's from county durham and she says i make a range of jewelry alternative and home decor mostly with a pagan goth or steampunk vibe amazing 
always been into crafts for as long as she can remember but only got into jewellery making back in 2009 after she got a diagnosis of multiple cirrhosis which is MS. I can really sympathise with how she goes, I'm on medication to stop me from getting MS because um, I'm going through the menopause and apparently early menopause can cause multiple cirrhosis. So I am on medication to try and stop that from happening. But my stepmom has multiple cirrhosis and, you know, I, I know that she struggles immensely. So Helen, uh, you know, you know, I commend you because it is hard work having disability and doing things. I mean, this is not my job, but, you know, it's still hard work sometimes when you're in pain, especially in a cold conservatory. So yeah, so that meant that she was no longer able to work full time, guys. So she decided to have this new hobby, crafting, was therapy, and even after 11 years, it still is. 11 years! So over the years, Helen's crafting took over, and in 2014, she decided to leave employment full stop and set up her own little business, The Watcher's Real that was born round about that time guys so 2014 yeah she's done really, really well so it says the watcher's room was born and she never looked back she absolutely loves it and i think it shows in the work that she does absolutely amazing helen also sells a range of products from trusted suppliers such as nemesis now as you know i collect nemesis now if you don't know have a look at my videos and you will see my collections yeah um, due to the pesky MS, her hands don't always work properly and I can imagine coming up to this time of year that will be an absolute struggle because pain, MS, cold, not a good mixture. Um, so she needed other products as well to fill her stall. So in more normal times, the majority of her time and energy goes into trading at physical events, guys. But this year due to COVID, along with many other businesses, She's had to change and adapt to shift focus on online selling, which I suppose every, everybody's had to do that now. And, you know, this is why we like to do what we do. So these sellers, these businesses can get a little bit of a pedestal to what they do because what they do is amazing and why not? So she's had Etsy for a longest time, guys, um, for a long number of years, but in the process of relaunching it after receiving an online Etsy training. <laughs> Bless her. She's working on her own website at the minute, guys, so that will be coming soon. Um, her name, Fallen Angels, the Watchers in the Book of Enoch. Fascinated. Ah, okay. So that explains where she's got her name from. So she's got it from a book of Enoch. Wow. So she's actually a quiet lady in life but she can chat everybody's ears off online, bless her. I thought it was really nice that she gave me this much information, so thank you, Helen. I love it, it kind of gives me an insight to who she is. There's a lot of these small businesses, guys, that do have chronic illnesses, and this is why they have their small business. I may consider doing my own business some point, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. These guys give me the encouragement to do that. Right, what's Helen putting here? So let's have a look. Okay, <coughs> not to go. <coughs> oh, so I, I wanted this from the from the alchemy. Oh, it's yeah, it's the holographic skull and moons, guys. Oh, I love this. I'm not. I should the moon and stars will like this. She will definitely like this. So it's a postcard, and it's and it's the alchemy official, guys. Oh, thank you. She said she'd put me a free gift in there. Wow, look at that, guys. It is actually plastic. And then you've got your, I ain't gifting this, this is mine. So it says Alchemy Official Alternative Merchandise Products. Thank you for that, Helen. That is amazing. I love it. I'm going to put that in a frame. Can you can you hear? It goes through me, but you can tell that it's that 3D. I've got a fair few 3D pictures. I've got, let me just show you as an example, um, like my Anne Stokes and my Nemesis now. I do, I do collect them guys. So how she knew that without me showing her is amazing. So thank you for that, Helen. Absolutely love it. And this is the item that I purchased with my um, 20 pound gift voucher from the alternative market. So thank you guys. Beautiful purple organza bag. I love that, keeping that. And then I have got the Witch's Real Business Card. It says, 
Established in 2014, Pagan Gothic Steampunk Jewelry Cards, Gifts and Jewelry Making Supplies, Helen Whaley. Email the watchers room at hotmail.com, Facebook, Instagram, eBay, Etsy, Conscious Crafties. Lots, guys. I'll stick all that information in the description box below. Thank you for that, Helen. I keep all my information together. One day I'll do a video of all the businesses I've done and show you as a collective. So I grabbed this cameo brooch because I just thought, oh, I love that. And you can go on my jacket. As you know, I'm building up my jacket. So it's different. I just thought it was really different. Look at that. So it's on like, um, like a brass. It's not going to irritate me on my jacket, is it, guys? So I can wear things like, like brooches and that. I just can't wear them around my neck because the pewter on them. So she comes on the card here. On the witch's realm card which is great and then it's just a pin here guys and then you just pin it to your top no way so don't stick it in you oh i love that that's gonna look amazing on my jacket i may just put it up here so you can see it and it's got a little clock so it looks like a little clock and it's got the little face of the clock on there then the little ones i love it and guys, I didn't pay for these items. I won these items and I'm so appreciative. So thank you to the Alternative Market for giving me the opportunity of grabbing a couple of things. I am sorry that your merchandise didn't make it to me. Maybe it will eventually. And if it does, I will let you know. Okay, guys, I must call this a quit because it's 24 minutes long. I'll try and cut it down a little bit if I can. Thank you so, so much to Grimly. Fiendish Crafts and to the Watchers Realm and to the Alternative Market. Guys, make sure you join them this month. Give them a little bit of a push because I don't know if they're going to be doing December. I'm going to be chilling out and trying to rest in December. And who knows what's going to go on with the whole COVID situation. We are still sitting and waiting to find out what kind of Christmas we're all going to have. It's not going to be the same this year for many people, that is for sure my family being one of them um well we've lost a couple of people a few people in our family which is sad and i've recently lost a friend as well so yeah tough times stay together guys and stay safe look after each other be nice to each other and carry on supporting these smaller pinned and businesses they really do appreciate it all right take care and i'll see you in the next one bye for now Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.